Hello, my dear creative, and welcome to this vlog where I'm going to show you my favorite art supply shop in Auckland, New Zealand. Here we will talk all about markers, black liners, my favorite pencils, waiting gel pens, sketchbooks, templates, and watercolor. So, if you're excited, watch this video till the very end. At the very end of this video, I'll show you what I purchased that day in this art supply shop. As you can see, they have a great selection of professional markers like Copics and Winson and Newton former Pro markers. I am into interior sketching topic, that's why I'm really interested the most in um, grey markers in beige and earth colors. Just look at these wonderful Tombov markers. These have two nibs. One is my favorite one, it's brush nib, and the other one is fine nib. Also, this is something new for me from Albrecht Durer, watercolor marker from Faber Castell. After my favorite topic, such as markers, we switch to black liners, which are also essentials for interior sketching. This one is from Stadler. My big love is Copic Multiliner. This is, for example, uh, Copic's calligraphy pen, uh, but I prefer regular nibs uh, of black liners. This one, 0 0.5, is my absolute favorite, this Copic Multiliner. This one is regular standard, but this one, Multiliner SP, it's refillable, and I think it's really, really great. But as you can see, its price is almost three times higher. They also have different colors for their liners. As you can see, I do love testing everything and let me know in the comments if you shop online art supplies or if you prefer live shopping. By the way, these are permanent black liners from Molotov. Very often students from my online courses ask me what kind of whiting gel pen do I, do I use in my interior sketches. I really love this Uniball Signa. Let me show you my other favorite thing. It's this black wing pearl from Plomino. This is my favorite pencil for interior sketching. And let me know if you also can spend hours and hours in our supply shop testing and trying all these cool materials. Here is another very useful thing for interior design students and architects, especially for those who are new to interior sketching and struggle with drawing circles and ellipses. These templates can really help. This wall looks great for all architecture students. <laughs> By the way, another very good thing to have is scale ruler for your interior sketching. Time to switch to sketchbook topics. So these ones I really love from Hannah Murder. They are so bright and lovely. Uh, very similar thing they have in Fabriano. I do love small travel sketchbooks, booklets, because you can take them in your journey. You can uh, draw your urban sketches in them. So watercolor or marker paper, anything will be great. Switching to the watercolor topic, uh, as you can see, they have a great selection of blue colors in Schminke for watercolor because cobalt blue, ultramarine, and other blues are the most important ones, at least for me. Uh, in Winsen and Newton, they also have Cotman. It's a little bit cheaper and almost the same good quality. In terms of watercolor paper in this art supply shop, they have arches. Uh, Fabriano, Hannah Muller. I personally prefer um, 300 gram per square meter for my watercolor paper. And here are all the different brushes for watercolor they have here. By the way, if you're interested in my top favorite list of materials for interior sketching, head over to my website schoolofsketching.com slash resources, where you can download my PDF list with my absolute top favorite materials. 
And now, as I promised, I'll show you what I purchased in this art supply shop. So first this watercolor paper A4 format, then this sketchbook which opens horizontally, it's also with watercolor paper, this little uh, sketchbook travel booklet from Hannemölle, as you can see lots of sketchbooks. Then I got this ultramarine from Cotman, Vincent and Newton because I ran out of it. Then this Signa white ink gel pen um, next to my favorite blackwing pearl uh, it's my favorite uh, pencil to be true and refillable copic multiliner and also uh, this <laughs> refillable thing so you can open it here and put it inside well i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, art supply vlog let me know in the comments if you tried any of these materials and of course download my PDF list from the website. See you in my next videos. Bye for now.